Hey everyone, this is Accounting Nightmare, and welcome back to the Mega Man Legacy Collection Challenges. We've gotten through the bulk of them now, and we're up to the really interesting ones. Specifically, this one, this time we're looking at the All Robot Rush, which is 20 minutes long, so it's the only one we're looking at in this video. It's all the Robot Masters back to back. And we start off with Charge Man, of course. <laughs> oh, Charge Man isn't that bad, to be honest. Yeah, so uh, in this video, like, I'm, I'm assuming this video will be one of the most popular ones of the series. So I'll, I might repeat a lot of information I already said in previous videos. But Charge Man is from Mega Man 5. And he's weak to the Power Stone. The Power Stone is annoying because it sticks around on screen after you fire it. And to get rid of it, you have to hit pause and unpause, and then you can fire it again. It's not too bad once you get used to that, it just feels really unnatural to use. So I'm not a big fan of it. Now for Pharaoh Man from Mega Man 4. Who gets frozen in time by the flash stopper. And then you can just keep on shooting him like this. It's good if you can get him at, uh, at a height like this where you can just shoot him from the ground. So you're not jumping and shooting all the time. That gets your thumb sore pretty quick. Takes him a while to die, but he does die. Now Bright Man from Mega Man 4. We're having a lot of Mega Man 4 and 5 bosses to start off with. As you can see they kind of uh, jumbled up the order to make things more interesting. I like it actually. Bright Man is a pain. Um, he's weak to the Rain Flush. But before you swap to the Rain Flush you want to do a normal shot first. That's because at certain health thresholds is when he freezes time and that's otherwise unavoidable and you'll, you will get hit once he does that for a lot of damage. The only way you can avoid that is to skip over those health thresholds by shooting him once with the normal buster and then uh, using his weakness. So you should be okay if you do that. It's kind of dumb though, honestly. Anyway, Starman from Mega Man 5. He's very weak to the water wave, it cuts right through his shield even. That's pretty nice. You can't shoot it in the air, but you don't really need to. He dies pretty quickly to it. Our first Mega Man 3 boss, and it's Snake Man, who's weak to the uh, needle needle shot. Yeah, he dies pretty quick to it though. <laughs> and on to Mega Man 1, where we have this select trick at our side. Bomb Man, poor old Bomb Man. We kill him so many times on these challenges. He's weak to the uh, the firestorm, and you can select trick him to death very quickly, and you should. Crash Man from Mega Man 2. He's very weak to the air shooter. He's also annoying to hit. There, yeah, you need to jump before you shoot, because he, he jumps every time you shoot, so you, you kind of have to already be in the air to make sure you hit him. He dies in three hits to the air shooter, thankfully. And speaking of three hits, <laughs> Iceman dies in three hits to the uh, Thunder Man. Without his weakness, Iceman is quite dangerous. And uh, Shadow Man from number three, who's very difficult to do no to do with no damage. And I was low health, so it's best just to take a death there. That's one of the keys to saving time in this sort of challenge is just accepting when you think you should be taking a death. And yeah, Shadow Man, whip to top spin. Gotta be careful with the top spin that you don't like. Um, take some practice. You have to like make sure you're not in contact with his hitbox for too long, or it'll drain all the energy. It's kind of buggy. Cutman dies in two hits from the super arm. Very easy. And then Nightman. Nightman is from number six. He's our first number six boss. And he does not like the spear. The spear goes right through his shield. Because otherwise his shield blocks shots, but uh, well, now it doesn't. <laughs> Drillman from number four. You can tell it's from number 4 because of the very slow health bar. Jewel Man is weak to the, uh, the dive bomb, or dive missile, sorry, which is a homing weapon. But it can't hit him when he's on the ground, or when he's currently digging. He's a, he's a pretty nasty boss, he kind of swaps between just doing a long, boring digging and just spamming you with missiles, which are kind of tough to avoid. It takes around four seconds or so to come up after he's been digging, so 
When you already have a timer on screen, that makes it easier to track. <laughs> Plant Man from number 6. He's weak to ice. The Blizzard Attack. Which does a good chunk of damage. You can only hit him when the, his shield isn't up. So you have to jump over and then shoot. Yeah, if he's on the far side of the room, you can get him two hits like that. Yeah, makes the fight a fair bit quicker. Another Mega Man 3 boss. It's Top Man. If you're quick enough, you can get a shot off at the start of the fight and do a chunk of damage with the hard knuckle. And whoops! <laughs> Dying to Top Man. How embarrassing. But yeah, an important part about these sort of challenges is recognising when you should just take a death ASAP so you can save as much time as possible. Otherwise you might spend a lot of time almost killing a boss and then dying and having to start over. And that can sometimes be the difference between getting a gold medal and not getting a gold. So Sparkman is very weak to Shadow Blades. You can just spam him and he will die pretty quick. Man. Man is from number 5. And he does not like gravity hold. Do not spam gravity hold. I think I, yeah, I spammed a shot accidentally. And then if you spam it, then you'll, you'll hit him when he's still in, uh, invincible from the last shot. And then you won't have enough ammo to kill him with his weakness. <laughs> so then you have to swap to the buster. Kind of embarrassing. Blizzard Man. Not sure if I can do Blizzard Man with this much health, but we will see what I do. He's weak to fire, being a snowman and all. Yeah, I find his charge surprisingly hard to avoid, and then um, sometimes his patterns... Yeah. <laughs> I do like sitting in the corner for this fight, but sometimes you just aren't avoiding those ice patterns. Anyway, at least the Fire Blast does a lot of damage to him. And uh, he looks really dumb when he's just kind of dancing back and forth like that. He is immune when he's doing the charge, but he doesn't stay in that form for very long, so you can break up the damage on him pretty quick. Toad Man! Poor old to Toad Man hates drills. The drill missile will just do tons of damage to him. And this is one of the easiest fights when you have his weakness. Or otherwise. <laughs> Poor Toad Man. He, he's considered as a, a bit of a joke. Stone Man. Stone Man doesn't like the Palm Bomb. Stone Man is for number five. He's got a gimmick going on where he, when he stomps the ground really hard, he turns into rubble for a few moments and he's invincible. So uh, trying to shoot him before he hits the ground is the best choice. So jump shots. Nice and easy. Windman. Windman is weak to Centaur Flash, and it's a very similar situation to Gyroman. In that, uh, see, when he's flashing, if you fire another shot when he's flashing, uh, you won't do any damage and you'll waste ammo. And yep, then I get too itchy on the trigger finger and I shoot too quickly. Now I have to use a buster. It's funny how similar Gyroman and Windman are in that respect. I have no idea why he's weak to Centaur Flash, by the way. Centaurs are good against wind? I don't know. Anyway, Yamato Man is weak to the Tomahawk. He's got a pretty fun pattern. Dodging all these spearheads is pretty tough. But he, he dies pretty quick to his weakness. Hard Man is weak to the Magnet Missile. This is another boss that you can't really spam against, because if if you try to spam too hard, then you'll waste all your ammo. And oh my god, I do that a lot here. And <laughs> that's how dangerous his stomp is. It uh, freezes you on screen, and um, it seems like it's useless, but if he actually hits you with his body, then you'll be frozen in his hitbox, and you'll take a second hit. So that's the point of that. Yeah, Magnet Missile is a weapon you can very easily spam. It just comes out so fast. But of course, if you spam it too hard, you won't do any damage with most of those shots. Airman. So it's good to try and rack up some damage on Airman before he swaps sides. And then you can nail him with the Leaf Shield. Oof, Dive Man. I don't think I'm doing this with um, this much health. Looks like I'm going to try though. He's weak to the uh, Skull Barrier. I'm not really too sure why. He just is. 
Yeah, see, that's where I should have taken a death. Just Im immediately. I should have just run into him. That's uh, wasted some time. I don't know how many times this challenge took me to take gold. It might have just been a first try. Because I've had plenty of practice against these bosses in the uh, other robot rushes. So you wouldn't know it to see my um, performance here. <laughs> but I came in just under 20 minutes. And I don't know if 20 minutes is a cutoff or if it's more lenient than that. Anyway, quick man. Oh, It sucks that quick man is so far into these chal this challenge. Yeah, he's 10 minutes in. And he is a pain in the butt to kill with... Um, with Crash Bomb, because Crash Bomb is quicker than his official weakness, which is the uh, Flash uh, Time Stop. Sorry. Yeah, he's pretty tricky to hit with the Crash Bomb. If you can nail him like up front with it, and it'll do a ton of damage. But if you miss, the Crash Bomb goes on the wall, and you can't fire another one. So you kind of have to hope you can goad him into going into the explosion. Needleman, this is another boss that it really sucks to miss against. Because then Gemini Laser bounces around like crazy and you can't shoot it again. Ah, an easy boss, Metal Man. Metal Man melts to Metal Blade for reasons unknown. Probably just because Metal Blade is so damn good. <laughs> yeah, I had no health there, so this time I was intelligent enough to just take a death. I think Middleman's official weak weakness is uh, Quick Boomerang, but Middle Blades kills him way quicker, so just use Middle Blades. Yeah, so Napoleon Man, weak to the Crystal Eye. And Crystal Eye will bounce around a bunch if you miss with it, but it, those the fragments usually hit him. They're pretty good at actually bouncing into their target. And they do as much damage as the normal shot, from what I can tell. So it's not a big deal if you miss with it. Another Mega Man 1 boss. Fireman. Fireman is weak to ice. And you can select trick it. And just utterly annihilate him. And then I almost completely screw it up. <laughs> Luckily I kill him though. Gemini Man. I'm not good at doing Gemini Man with no damage. So I just take the death immediately. Gemini Man is tricky because he changes his pattern halfway through the fight. Being a Gemini Man, he has a twin. He's weak to the Search Snake. And uh, in previous videos I have used the Gemini Laser against him, which is his own weapon. And I finally found out why he's weak to the Gemini Laser, thanks to Simply Simon's LP, which I rewatched re recently. It's because all the Mega Man 3 bosses are also weak to their own weapon. Kind of strange, but you know, it's a nice touch. I like it. Magnet Man. Magnet Man is also from 3, and he dies to the Spark Shot. He's got this gimmick where he tries to pull you in with his magnet, and he's invincible while he's doing it. But if you take a hit from him, it'll force him to stop doing it, and then you can shoot him a bit more. Ring Man from 4. Ring Man's probably the toughest robot master from 4, because uh, he has a very nasty pattern. You have to learn his pattern if you're going to beat him. Or you're just going to get destroyed. I suppose you might be able to damage race him with the Pharaoh shot, which is his weakness. But yeah, learning his pattern is such a big deal for actually killing him. <laughs> yeah, Pharaoh shot does a chunk of damage, as long as you charge it up. His pattern's really fun, actually. I like it. It feels really good when you pull it off. And then Dustman. Also from number four. Weak to the Ring Boomerang, which is from Ring Man, who we just killed. Dust Man, uh, he can be annoying, or he can just let, let you kill him like that. If he's annoying, he decides to do his vacuum attack over and over. And he's invincible when he does that. So he can waste a lot of your time. Then we have Crystal Man, who is weak to the Gyro Attack. And the Gyro Attack I actually find pretty tricky to hit him with. Because um, you can actually make the gyro attack go up or down, but it's 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 a 90 degree angle, so you have to get it lined up with him horizontally and then press up. And uh, yeah, if you're not quick enough, then he can move before it reaches him. Or yeah, I just find it a little unwieldy to use. So I like just jumping, just dropping it in his face like that. Makes it a lot easier to hit him. 
God, I'm doing really bad against Crystal, man. He's not hard. <laughs> oh, well. He's dead. That's the important thing. On to Gutsman in number one. Gutsman is super weak to the bomb, which I think is called the super bomb. And didn't quite get it right there. It only takes three hits to kill him, and if you do this select trick just right, then you'll get him with three hits in one bomb. Woodman. Woodman is funny because he has like four different weaknesses. He's weak to fire, he's weak to metal, he's weak to air, and I think he was also weak to crash bomb. Mega Man 2's weakness charts are a bit confusing. <laughs> bit of a mess. I, I use fire against him since it's, I think it's his official weakness. Tomahawk Man. I'm not good at fighting him, so I'm taking a death. Tomahawk Man is unpleasant to fight, um, even with his weakness, because his weakness is Plant Barrier. And Plant Barrier is not a weapon you can shoot forwards, unlike some other uh, shield weapons. You have to run into it with him. Uh, run into him with it. And, yeah. And then I waste some ammo. I didn't even know that was possible against this guy. And yeah, just just trying to get up close to him and hit him with it without taking a hit yourself. It is really annoying. Oof, that was really close. Yeah, because he has a little hop fours that he does. Plus his projectiles are actually pretty tough to dodge, because he has several of them. And Bubble Man. Bubble Man is um, weak to the Metal Blades. I wasn't confident that I could do him with two bars of health, so I took the death. I could have jumped up into the spikes on the ceiling, actually. <laughs> Yeah, he's weak to the Metal Blade, and I think he's the one who's officially weak to the Metal Blade. You can just stand in one spot and just nail him over and over with it. It's great. Flashman. Flashman is also weak to Metal Blade. I think his official weakness is the Crash Bomb, but why would you use that against him when you can Metal Blade him? I, I don't think I would want to try the Crash Bomb. It sounds really tricky to hit him with. Electman for number one. If you're not careful, Electman can three shot you, so just using the select trick to ad annihilate him quickly is recommended. On to Waveman, uh, from number five, who's weak to the charge kick. Yeah, the charge kick is one of the melee weapons of the series. It's pretty fun to use, but don't yeah, don't do what I'm doing there. Don't try and charge kick him when he's in a wall or up against the wall. Because you will take damage. Unless you're confident just taking that damage. Gravity Man, also from number 5. As far as we haven't finished all the fire bosses yet. Weak to the uh, Star Crash. This is an interesting fire. Got, you're both going up and down. You have to get used to the timing of when, when he swaps gravity so that you can hit him with the Star Crash without getting hit yourself. Ah, Heat Man for number 2. I. yeah, I, I decided to take a death. Heat Man is only weak to bubble, as far as I can tell. I'm not sure if there's any other weaknesses. He's pretty weak to it though, so that's fine. And of course he does that little charge every time you hit him. And the charge will aim itself at uh, your position on the ground. But the timing of when it starts changes, so sometimes he'll go right away, sometimes he'll wait a long time. It means you really have to react quickly. Flame Man from number 6 is weak to wind. I have no idea why. Doesn't wind help fire spread? Especially around here in Australia. Oh well. I guess you're helping him spread out of control and then he um, burns everything and then there's nothing left to burn? I don't know, I'm thinking about it too hard. Skullman! For number four, weak to the Dust Crusher. Skullman's pattern is very rigid, he would never change it as far as I can tell. Puts up the shield. The time the shield is up is kind of random, but as soon as he finishes, then you can start shooting him and get ready to jump over him because he'll charge at you. And we have Centaur Man, who I think is the final boss in this robot rush. Yes, we've been through all the bosses now. It was rather quick, actually. It feels quick anyway, because these fights are all really action packed and fun. Yeah, Centaur Man, weak to the Night Crush. And there you go, there's the old robot rush. That was 19 minutes, but it didn't feel like it. Next time we will look at some of these uh, no items robot rushes, which are Buster Jewels. So I hope you join me because I love Buster Jeweling these bosses. I will see you next time.